Okay, so... Um, so, Truffet. So, yeah, Truffet. Well... <laughs> well South Carolina. Kind of, and they have an actual store as well, if I remember correctly. They open Truffet? A, yes, they, they have, have a, they have a, a store? brick and mortar store. Oh. So, this is a subscription box. There was some conflicting information, I think, in uh, somewhere I had heard uh, you had to commit to, like, three months or something at a time, but when I looked on the website, it's it looked like you could just do month by month if yeah. you wanted to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It okay. didn't have that. So it, it might have been when they were first setting it up. Oh, okay. Because uh, they wanted to have, you know, know that they're going to have some money coming so they could order everything, right, kind of deal. They know that they have at least three months. Okay. So I'm sure that's probably what why they had a limit like that if they were trying to get started. And they also have different levels of yes. boxes. I'm not going to remember them all right now. Well, no, yeah, uh, that's fine. They I... have an ink only version, which is only little ink sample bottles. And I think you get like, I want to say six maybe. And it's only ink and it's like 13 or $14. So that's the lowest. Yeah, uh, that was the, like yeah. the entry. Okay. Uh, and then the, the first jump up into uh, a box with ink and a pen is 25 and then for an extra five, and that includes not full bottles of ink. So those would be sample bottles. So it's a pen and sample bottles of ink. And then this level here, for $5 more, $30, you get a whole bottle, supposedly a full bottle of ink as opposed to little samples, and you get a pen. Okay. And then the next jump up is a collector. I think it's like the collector version. It's like 75 and then they have one that's 150 I think the 150 is the collector. Yeah, right? and, and then those the are 75 more, obviously, the... they're expensive pens with, oh, with right, bottles of ink. Right, So, yeah, so there's there's various levels you can choose from. To, uh, yeah, so if you're curious, go to the website and check it out because uh, there's plenty of options yeah. that they offer. And, and maybe uh, remind me to talk later because I, I want to uh, kind of talk about why I was kind of reticent about doing a subscription box. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, we'll talk about that later. I just want to make sure but, it opens but now, now. The moment Let's... you've been waiting for, <laughs> drum roll please. Yes, and this is... <laughs> so, yeah, so let's check it out. Okay. We're all curious. <laughs> We're all curious. <laughs> <laughs> so look at that. Look at that. Oh wow. my gosh. I actually got a, it came, it's oh, a Mata Verde, Ritma. Special edition orange. I've been hearing about the Ritma lately, and so that's really interesting. Um, yeah. Oh, that's got possibly Special why, right? orange yeah. edition. That's yeah, it cool. It comes in a box and everything, but what kind of a nib is it? Nah. Uh, let's see. Uh, that's that's okay. the thing. It's, so you know, when you get a, a subscription box, you're kind of... It's a mystery. It's a, it, right, it's you know. a mystery. Right. But you're hoping that it, it might challenge you to try something you would normally not try. So it looks oh. like it says broad. Oh, okay. All right. That's not bad. That's yeah. not terrible. I, I, I've been wanting to experiment more with uh, different sizes. Oh, yeah. so Especially I, when you're trying inks out because yeah. it shows sometimes the, the, the properties of the ink that's different than just the color. Yeah. Oh. So if it shines or something. But yeah, so, so, that, so look at that packaging. Nice. I think it's just the regular box that they put uh, their pens in, oh. right? But this is... um. Interesting. Look, Look at, that. at that. That's pretty nice. Oh my gosh. That's that color is something else. Nice. I like yeah, that. That's pretty. Okay. So well, it's a brush like a brushed aluminum uh it's uh, yeah, uh, it's look. Oh my gosh, it's metal. It's a solid bin, yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's what kind of goodies do you get? I think it's uh, Oh okay, cartridge and so it some, does uh, come with a couple cartridges, nice. And, and some three, information. And some, look at that. That's a nice special annual collectible edition, wow. anodized orange. Okay. It's for twenty twenty three. Wow. So it's this year actually. It's not like a uh, okay, so it's a current pen. So it says it's inspired by the minimalist movement of the nineteen sixties and seventies. Okay. Uh mixture of steel and aluminum has a magnetic cap. Oh. oh, that sounds kind of interesting. Okay, well, I'm not gonna. Yeah, hard enough basic. for me to read that. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're just, you know, we're showing off what's in. And the, then this the is uh, instructions about filling and maintaining. I think here. Uh, I use the converter and such, and and cartridge. Yeah. So it comes with a blue ink cartridge. 
Okay. Which I guess is a business, right? Blue is usually your legal. Either black or blue, yeah, black I think, blue. are usually uh, acceptable for business. And yeah, that's yeah. fine. Okay, so, but yes, it is. <laughs> Sorry, I really should have my my clothes because I put lotion on my hands. Um, but uh, oh my gosh, look at that! And it does have Monteverdi. I don't know if you call it etched there on the cap uh, at the base of the cap. Yeah, engraved or uh -huh. almost and it says, engraved. And it this. gives the model name Ritma Special Edition. Wow. Nice. Wow. I really like that color. That's pretty sharp. So that's, uh, uh here's the, the end. I call it an end cap. I don't know if that's the right term. I call it an end cap. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, and then the clip, um, nice. has an interesting design on the Very clip. Very smooth. And, um, well, for now, I'm going to put this down here and then I'm going to pull this out. Can. And this is, Noir Ink Collection Rose Noir. Oh my okay. gosh. This is Monteverde brand ink as well, I believe. I don't see the well, name why on is it, it, but maybe it's a different it is, uh, level, uh, level I, of ink. I believe it is uh, Monteverde, yes. Okay. Uh, and that is Rose Noir. Oh my gosh. If that's so, the color, that looks pretty cool. I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited. Um, okay. Is it tape? No. Oh, nice. I like when they, you know, show what, what else is available. Um, so this is the Noir series uh, that they did. So look at those dark colors. Wow. My goodness. Yeah, they look nice. Yeah. So this is Rose Noir okay. here. So, yeah, it's a little more purpley. Oh, it's going to be hard to distinguish, maybe. Uh, I think my eyes are a little wonky today. But, but they've got like Jade Noir, Copper Noir, all kinds of colors. Copper oh, my gosh. Huh. So that's cool. Yeah, that'll be fun to uh, test that out. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, so yeah, the bottle. Nice. Yeah. And it has it has a, a seal. Yeah. On okay. There. It's the yeah, it keeps... shrink wrap. Yeah. What do they call it? Shrink. Yeah. yeah shrink wrap. Plastic. Yeah. Nice. nice. So okay. that is a pretty good sized bottle. Does it say how much it does? Uh, it, it does, it, but I believe this is a thirty milliliter okay. bottle. So thirty ml. I think so. Yeah. Which is the same size as those diamine bottles we've been getting. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. it's just a different shape, of course. Yeah. And then what uh, can we? Uh, oh, can I we did. Do the nib on the. I did want to mention. Should I mention it now before we get into? Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so. Well, okay. So the box came like this in my in my mailbox, and you know, it's nothing was wrong with it. It was you know, obviously everything arrived safe and intact, but I was not filled with confidence because. Uh, they didn't tape it. It. <laughs> it wasn't taped shut. There was no seal at yeah. all. I, I mean, I wouldn't expect a box to arrive like this with no seal where you could just open it up, you can grab what's in there and take it out. And so you it's really just, have to trust your postman. You mean, <laughs> <laughs> Which you should anyway. But I well, say. well, yeah. In an ideal uh, world, yeah. you would. But <laughs> several hands. It passes through several hands on its way to uh, yeah, to its and destination, it's so. to me, it would be a small thing to just put a strip of packing tape okay. just right there. That that wouldn't take a lot of effort, right? Just just you know. One strip of packing tape right there, and then I, it would make me feel better. The thing I like about the company and why I've bought from them is they have pens for three dollars and they have pens for three thousand dollars. So if you're getting in the pens, they have some interesting, uh, interesting products because you can get find affordable pens and uh, really expensive collector type pens too. So depending on what what you're into. 
So, and then with the subscription box, you get the mystery part, right? Where, yeah. Where pick and it that's, for me. That's the fun thing, I so. think, where you don't know what's going to come and, uh, you know. But yeah, yeah. And, and so cool. I mean, definitely, I, I, from this first box, I don't see why it's not worth what we paid. Yeah. In fact, and it's probably worth well, more. That uh, but, you know. Ties into why, you know, I was kind of hesitant to, uh, do a subscription box because of the element of the unknown. And it seems like, you know, you're in the back of your mind, you're always thinking, well, was it worth the money? Was it worth, does it add up? Uh, and I think finally, I just thought that, you know, it's not just about the numbers adding up. It's about the enjoyment the of, of, of getting a mystery box. Uh, it's it doesn't necessarily have to match up exactly right to what yeah. you paid and what you're getting, because it's about the experience. Yeah, exactly. That's right. And in this case, I I think they hit, they nailed it right on the head. They did a good job. I, the color I, selection of the pen is beautiful. The the color of the ink is beautiful. right now. I haven't even looked at it really, but right now I am very pleased. Yeah. I did not expect a metal. <laughs> found man <laughs> um yeah so, yeah cool so but uh yes that's a magnetic so if cap it, if, yeah so it is magnetic nice yeah that's so, nice so everything's smooth see there's no threads anywhere uh yeah look at so that so you don't have to worry about threads where and they uh, call you know, getting, this get worn out but look at that they refer to this as the step down where the barrel meets the the, body, grip, yeah, the yeah, grip yeah, section yeah, exactly yeah so and that's a very minimal yeah. step down so, the, so you don't feel that on your, uh, yeah. And this is, it was a, a broad nib, huh? And, yeah, let's Look see. Look at that. Nice. That so it's got it all, all black. I don't know. Do I have another pen with a nib like this where it's coated? Or, uh, what is that? Enameling or something? It's black. Or anodizing, uh, depending on the metal. I think, I think it's a, anodized. I think this is a coating on the nib. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's like a dip, dip coating or something. Yeah. That's interesting. It could be a paint too. It could be an enamel, and then they yeah. bake it. That's what I'm what assuming. It's thinking, just yeah. like a steel, a steel. Oh my gosh! Well, it looks it looks really cool. Yeah, yeah. See what's under the hood. Nice. So it's got a converter. Nice. I think normally when I refill my pans, I refill them with a syringe directly into the converter. Yeah. But for demonstration purposes, I think I'll just show you how you can uh, fill it the the regular way. The traditional way. And it's, it'll be ready to go to write with right away. Um, oh, because you don't have to prime it, basically. Right. Yeah. You don't have to prime so the feed, I, to, I think so is what it's called. Upside down for so many minutes. Yeah, or you know, I've been I get impatient, so I just turn the converter. Oh, and then, and it, then it pushes the ink through oh, the okay. feed. Okay, but I'm just gonna um, yeah, yeah. put it in this way <clears throat> for educational purposes. That <laughs> mag, it's stuck to their like, mm. the magnet. <laughs> magnetic, yeah, yeah. Nice. Uh, okay, what am I doing? Oh, yeah, I'm filling. <laughs> okay. Well, so I'm just curious can... because uh, I remember being at the store. But that uh, paper luck store we went to, and they had actually had uh, two different size converters for the Lamy, right? Was that the Lamy or was that for the Coeco? Coveco. And one was smaller. Yeah. Uh, and like a smaller reservoir, think, and the one was a little longer. Yeah, which one was that? I don't um, remember. But anyway. yeah, there is one that has. Uh, Two different um, options. I think it's the Kaweco that has the two different converter sizes that they. Um, uh, All right. So just like that, you filled it. Well, I about ha a half yeah. fill in yeah. the converter. So um, this isn't your first experience with a subscription box, right? No, I, I, I've 
done the mystery tackle box for quite a number of years, I think. Now. A few, yeah. So, and it's uh, I. That's why I kind of wanted to do it for for you to try out, mm -hmm. because I always kind of enjoy uh, getting it. It's a little surprise, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Pack it, surprise package, and and see what's included in that month. So, what comes in the mystery tackle box? Uh, typically, it's going to be, you'll get like one uh, kind of like really nice lure, and then you'll get a couple like uh, things that you might need. So some hooks, uh, some what they call soft bait that you add to your to your, the back of a lot of your uh, uh, other uh, jigs and things that you use for fishing. And it comes with a little booklet, too, that's just kind of funny. They have some uh, uh, tips and some humor. I think they even have a puzzle usually. And then they have some interesting opportunities where you can actually uh, YouTube your catch and you can get entered into some sweepstakes. Oh, that sounds fun. Uh, and each of their uh, monthly box, when you fold it out, it actually has a uh, measuring uh, uh, kind of setup. It's about, it, it folds out to almost a yard. Which is probably the biggest fish you'd ever catch if you're holding a little mystery tackle box. <laughs> but it lets you measure, your, you, so you can take a picture and measure it, uh, and then share it. Figure, I may as well, since I'm doing a demonstration, I may as well do a full. Yeah, yeah, try it, try it out. Thing. Yeah, how's it, how's it feel so far? Is it feels, really smooth? Yeah, <laughs> it feels really smooth. For a broad nib, it. it and, well, it, this it, is my first experience with a broad nib. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it it lays down the ink like <laughs> yeah. it's very a very fat line compared to yeah. what okay. I've been using like fine or or medium or extra fine and so this is a noticeably um, fatter line to me yeah yeah and I like it oh well that's good then yeah but I can <laughs> see where I wouldn't use this for all all occasions. Like if I'm writing in in my small A6 notebook, yeah, I wouldn't probably write in that with this broad nib. Yeah, because yeah, it's, it's it pretty too, fat. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's too too yeah. small of an area to try to write with a fat. But for just my regular um, A5 notebook, yeah, exactly. I, I would like to use that in there, or even you know or, my uh, my seven by ten note notebook, or yeah, letters. Yeah, uh, this sheet right here. This is a. Uh, a good size. This is what I like to use for letters now, and I think that's, and yeah, I, I really like the ink too. Hey, I, I don't know like, really how much, how much of the enjoyment is from the ink and how much of it is from the nib. I, yeah. or, you know, the paper. It could yeah. be, no, you know, it, a combine a nice combination a good, of yeah, everything. Yeah, a good combination. But I'm, I'm really enjoying this. Yeah, nice. Raisinberry for sure. Yeah, I'm writing larger than I usually write with this since it's a, a broad nib. Uh, but that's, I like it a lot. Oh, well, that's not a word. I misspelled horticulturist. I thought it was horticulturalist. But that's not right.
So I want to do a little bit of uh, I don't know if this is that's somewhat clean. <laughs> <laughs> I have some water here that's not entirely clean, but it's mostly clean. But I, I kind of want to do like a Hmm. Oh, that has some water resistance. I mean, it's not. No, it's not, clean, it's water not proof. waterproof or anything, but it has some resistance there. I was expecting a little more uh, color to come up. That's interesting. Hmm. Yeah, the conversation went dead after you left. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were concentrating on. Yum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's okay. cool. And I guess I'll try a reverse writing and see if. Oh yes, it's, that uh, seems to be a thing. Yeah, um, so it's one side is sometimes like different. Well, that's really scratchy. Yeah. Yeah. Hold the line up. But it's a very thin. It's like an extra fine, I would say. Yeah. Line. Yeah. So, if I did wanted to do like fine lines, I could little do it this way. A little detailing. Yeah, interesting. What do you think? Very you nice. Like this color? Yeah, it's pretty nice. I like it because it's not so vivid that it looks fake. Yeah. You know, sometimes if it's too too bright, it 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 doesn't look real. So, I like that sound. Yeah, that's <laughs> anyway, I really like that. And the color, I really like the color. You can really see the color well uh, with the with the broad line. Oh goodness. And then this watch here. Yeah, nice. Yeah, that is, it writes really good. Yeah. Oh, did you post it? Yeah. It, it, it's magnet that way, too. Yeah. So, yeah, so it's easily postable, but like you said, it does make just, it a bit kind of end, heavy. end heavy. I so, yeah. am happy with this uh, first box. Yeah. And I, I don't know if are we going to continue or is that yeah for uh, we'll try it for a few months and play it, play it by you right? yeah and if we get to a point where it's like eh then we can always try something different I can understand uh, people not liking the whole idea of a subscription box where it's you don't know what you're getting and you can't decide for yourself and 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 really know uh, the value. Yep. of everything and I and I did feel the same way I felt like well I'd rather just pick what I want instead of being surprised yeah but I think there's value in something like this for people who are at a point where you know they don't really know what they want or they've already got what they want and you know they just want to continue on the journey of collecting or accumulating or you know adding to yeah, what they have and maybe not really needing uh to have specific types of items you have to be open you have to be open to try uh, uh different things uh, so uh, i guess what i'm saying is yeah i get it it's not for everybody but i'm really happy with with this box i'm really happy with the pen uh, that came in this box. I'm really happy with the ink that came with this box. Um, I'm, I'm, yeah, well, it really hit, happy. It, it hit the right spots because we were more fall, fall living. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, the orange color and the, yeah, is the and the purple. And the purple. Yeah, These it, are some it, of my it, favorite. It, exactly. um, and then I had been, really been wanting to try out different size nibs, so the broad nib was was really uh, great for me at this point. So a lot of it hit a lot of boxes for for me, yeah. personally. Yeah. So I know we didn't find a lot of 
other people that had talked about uh, the box, but they are a fairly new company. Uh, so, you know, it's not like they're... You know, are they new? Or are they I really? believe so. I think they're uh, okay. in the sense of what, you know, doing okay. the box and everything. Yeah, but you're right. I, I mean, I have looked for other channels who have covered um, these subscri subscription boxes, and there have been some uh, that I found, you know, a while back. Um, more recently, I haven't really found much, to be honest. Okay, so there were some other items in the order that you placed with True Fay. Yes. Okay, and because you can't control yourself, or yeah, yeah, that's pretty much <laughs> what it is. <laughs> but just uh, so if anyone's interested, uh, I believe twenty dollars is their minimum uh, uh, for free shipping. So. Oh, that's good yeah. because so I've seen you, some of the online retailers require like fifty dollars. Um, or to yeah. to get free shipping, so so, so that's nice. So again, if you don't, if you're not spending a lot of money on pens, and you're finding these affordable pens like these ones here, uh, then you can actually just buy one pen without having to buy two pens in order to get free shipping. Okay. Because I think shipping a lot of times is anywhere from seven to nine dollars in small packages. So that's almost like another pen right there if you're going with the budget. Yeah. Budget pen. So uh, okay, tell me what this value is. Pens. I, we're not. I'm not going to fill these and demonstrate them. I'm just going to show real quick what other things came in the order, and it was only like eight bucks. Yeah. So it's a carbon fiber is the the gray part, and then of course the rose gold is the the shiny. I just like got my fingerprints all over these. Carbon fiber is put on cars. Yeah. Okay. I'm, it's not limited. I just that. Uh, what is that called? I, I'm I'm calling it the end cap yeah. or, or finial. Yeah, it's or got something. an interesting kind of shape to it. Uh, but look at that. Those accents are really nice. And then this pattern on here. Yeah, I don't so know that's the carbon don't... fiber look. Yeah. Or it's like a weave. It's like a weave of... Uh, yeah. And then, like a high-tech uh, metal. Oops. It's not unscrew. <laughs> so it's a pop, pop top. <laughs> okay, there yeah. we go. All right. And it feels like it's a metal body for sure. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's got, got some weight. It's got some weight to it. Look at that. It's, it's this thing has curves. Yeah. This is sexy. Yeah, exactly. Oh That's my what I was goodness. thinking. That is. And it's it's symmetrical from here to here. Yeah. These two ends, well, the grip and the it end. It looks like a rolling pin. It's symmetrical. It's <laughs> 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 Wow, that's crazy that this was only $8. That's mm -hmm. interesting. It's a nice design. It, the mm -hmm. style is very pretty, but yeah. I'm oh, I like the, the shiny, all the shininess. <laughs> yeah, all the different textures. Okay, so what are these weird things here? So those are, uh, I actually thought of those a long time ago. I've been wanting to buy them. Uh, but the only way I saw it was in a set of like 12. So not that it was a lot of money. It was only like $20 for 12. But I didn't That's know what true. I was going to do with 12 shark pens. <laughs> but anyways, uh, so yeah, this is a little fun. It's a $3.98 pen. It's a shark. And yeah. So and I have is... kind of what I call my fun pen collection, which are my colored pens. Yeah. This is Jin Hao. Yes, it's a Jin Hao. 993 or 983. I can't read it. Uh oh. It's a nine. Eight three or nine nine three. Anywho, but uh, again, it's uh, fine, and it comes with li and the light blue and the ivory is what you have. Yeah. Okay. So it's got a twist off top. Yeah, I just love those little yeah, details. It, it, it even has the side, the gill. Yeah, is that I, I the knew gills? it had. The, I knew it had the fin. But the, you can't uh, really see the rest of the, the details mouth, in the picture. But the yeah, it's got a mouth and, and the eye. <laughs> Oh my gosh. That is fun. And then I like how it's curved here and it's yeah. clear. Yeah. Or translucent. Yeah, translucent. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's got and a it's converter. Got a converter. Too. Nice. I mean, it's $3.98. Really? Oh my gosh. That's pretty <laughs> fun. I mean, it's, you know, I don't it's, know how well it's going to be. It's a, it's a, yeah, it's plastic. I'm sure it's like a kid's It's, it's kind cute. Of thing. But. What the heck, right? <laughs> How can you pass up a little shark pen? And, you know, I'm always happy to see the, uh, when uh, they include a converter. Yeah. 
And if it fits a converter, I would guess you could also put a cartridge on it because cartridge and converters are about the same size. Yeah, sure. I yeah, yeah. I would think so. And then this is the the ivory. Both of these are, are really neat. I yeah. don't know. Oh, so which color is yours? Well, I was thinking the ivory one. Okay. Unless you prefer that over the blue, because I I don't I don't care. It doesn't matter to me whichever ones. I was thinking the blue is <laughs> actually. <sure. laughs> I think you should just keep both of them. I don't need oh. more pens. You keep getting me more pens, and this oh. is getting a little. Um, so these are platinum plazier. Yes. This is the Nova orange and red. And I think I specifically told you that I was interested in, yeah, in this, this one you were, model. This one you're not mad at getting. No, <laughs> mad about them. <laughs> <laughs> the, the thing that interested me and the reason why I went ahead and and got them because it, the color is kind of cool. Uh, but also, uh, they claim uh, that their pens will, uh, if you cap it up, it'll last for a whole year. The ink won't dry out. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Okay, so this comes with cartridge. Nice. Wonder. If, I don't think they include. Yeah, they don't include converters. Oh, boo! But it, it came with a cartridge. Okay. But I, f I find it interesting that their nib reminds me a lot of the Lamy nib, oh. the Safari. Okay. That's it's kind it's of, kind of the a way it's got that flat, cut. Yeah. flattened, and, and almost the edges are kind of yeah, they kind of wrap around like that. Yeah. yeah, but that's. Uh, that's a nice color. So this one is yours, right? The the orange one? Yeah. Because I, I asked I, you what color. Yeah, I said I wanted a red one. And that's, this is a fine tip uh, nib, and then the red one is the medium, uh, which is your preferred uh, yeah. uh, nib. Starting size, right? Starting. I have mixed feelings because I think that's a really wide yeah, band to put is. on a cap, and I'm not really sure I'm a fan of that. Yeah, it makes it definitely kind of interesting. Is this? Oh, <laughs> snaps on. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, it's very lightweight. I'm not. It's, I can't use it for a whole year, so I'm going to fill it with ink and put the cap on. I'm going to see if it lasts a whole year. Just like <laughs> put it claim. through the right. test. Yeah. How else do we test it? Right? But yeah, it's uh, like it. I don't know. Is it because it's so thin on on the? Uh, the barrel is so thin. Is that why it's so light, or is it just yeah. because it's like aluminum? But I or? think it is aluminum, too. Okay. Uh. Yeah, I asked for red because I have several red inks now that I'm really digging, so yeah, I figure... Yeah, yeah, I like the red. It's nice. Yeah. Flashy. <laughs> okay, thank you. So uh, That's a nice little set of pens there. You got the fun ones. <laughs> I know. Got the sexy one. And those stickers are bugging. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I And some people leave off. them on their pens. I, know. <laughs> I think it may, maybe it was a Different strokes for different I folks, know. I guess. But I always think it's funny. If it was a hologram uh, that was signifying, you know, making it an authentic, authentic pen, maybe. I don't know if I've seen but, it so much on people's pens, but I've seen it on, like, paintbrushes. I yeah. Know. It's like, why, why won't you take the sticker off your mm -hmm. Brush, please. Maybe they can <laughs> scan it with their phone and get a new one. If anyone knows why, <laughs> let us know. What What is the reasoning to keeping the barcode sticker on your paintbrush or your pen? I mean, the only thing I can think is just so that they remember well, what the actual item is called. Uh, you know, usually you'll have the, the model yeah, yeah, the name model or name. Yeah, exactly. the number, and then they know exactly what to reorder because that is that is one thing i have to say once you get more than a couple of pens pretty soon you're like oh i can't remember is that the jin hao is that the hong Dian? yeah right you have to it becomes a blur for yeah. me yeah. um i have a hard time remembering some things these days and so it kind of gets confused confusing for me yeah so that might oh. be that might be yeah. one reason why yeah yeah so anyways okay but yeah cool. fun stuff yeah, this is so obviously I'll more, explore more things I'll experience. demonstrate these later on in future videos. Um this yeah. was just a a, a quick uh, pfft, check it out. <laughs> check it out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See what we got.